How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. This has been a long time coming, just so you know. What's that? This interview. Oh, has it? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. So yeah, I had here. a very long list of questions, okay. which I've whittled down to five minutes worth. Great, well, so, see, we'll get as much as we can. Yeah. Haley Steinfeld, how are you? I'm great, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good. You star as Charlie in Bumblebee. Obviously, other than your face, what other similarities do you have with the character? Well, uh, other than, uh, yeah, or my face. Yeah. Um, I would say that this is a character who is struggling with um, loss and just the confusion and unanswered questions that you sort of look for when you're a teenager growing up feeling misunderstood. And um, I've been there, I've been there and I've had moments like that since being a teenager and growing up and going through that phase. And I think everybody does at some point in their life. And that was one of the main, um, one of the main connections, things in common that we had. Um, obviously for a lot of the film, you're either with a car or like a bit of an exploded car. Mm -hmm. um, how do you create such a realistic relationship with essentially a piece of machinery that half the time isn't even there? Right, well, thank you. I, um, I, it all came down to creating as much backstory as possible. Um, there was wonderful uh, direction written on the pages, um, but it you know, had to obviously go a bit deeper than what was there and what is said in the film just for the sake of, like you said, making it feel real. Um, and I, I mentioned before, Charlie is, is, has just experienced one of the biggest losses with her dad, uh, losing her dad at such a young age, and not only her dad, but her best friend and this person who, who was there for her and understood her and saw her and accepted her for who she is. Um, and not having that, the idea of not having that for me personally, and I've, I've experienced something like that, um, that is enough to, to feel something. Um, and whether or not you have something to talk to and express that to, both are equally as emotional. So um, being in the real moment, in real time, not having anything there um, was, you know, the feeling of feeling unheard is, is quite uh, real. Yeah. And obviously you star with John Cena as well. What was it like working with him? Oh, boy. Uh, he is wonderful. He's so funny. I mean, his sense of humor is crazy. Uh, and uh, his you know, character in this film is the adversary. And um, it was interesting because I, I didn't necessarily know what sort of approach he was going to take when coming on set every day, um, knowing that he has such a great sense of humor and loves to loves to have a good time. Yeah. Um, but it was wonderful. He he brought so much to this part. And um, it's great to see how his, his and Charlie's relationship, uh, his character and Charlie's relationship evolves in this film. Obviously, as well as being an actress, you're a very talented pop star as Thank well. You. And you released a song connected to the film, Back yes. to Life. Where did that song come from? Well, um, the conversation started uh, about a possible col uh, collaboration musically, um, like in the, in the middle of making the movie. Okay. Uh, and we didn't necessarily know what that was when we spoke about it, if it was some sort of cover of an 80s song, if it was a, an original song. And um, I started writing at the, while the movie was being edited and I hadn't seen anything. Um, and we, we had plenty of songs written and then I went and saw the film for the, for the first time and uh, Back to Life just sort of came to mind. Uh, and that was written sort of in the 11th hour and sent it to Travis and he ended up really loving it and I just feel so lucky. It's something I've always, always dreamt of, having a song of my own and a film of my own and I'm really glad that this, this worked out. Yeah, and you said obviously there's a lot of music written. When can fans expect more music? So, um, I, I had every intention on, on putting music out, putting an album out, putting more music out, in, if any, you know, without titling what it, that body of work yeah. is uh, this year. But um, this, this little thing came about. Yeah. Uh, and a TV show that I'm currently working on uh, that I finish up in January. So, um, after that top of the year, I will be focusing on Finishing what I've started. Amazing. Um, my final question then, obviously the film is steeped in 80s culture and throwback. What's your favorite 80s song? My favorite 80s song? Oh my God. I don't know if I could pick just one favorite, but the first that came to mind was um, Don't You Forget About Me, Simple okay. Minds. There we go. Haley Steinfeld, thank you very thank much. Thank you.